Hi everyone. Welcome to the Fireflies Overview webinar. Let's give everyone a minute to settle in and then we will get started. All right, guys, let's get started with the webinar. The goal of this webinar is to help you better understand Fireflies. We'll also give you a company overview, how to use the product, discuss some of the key features, talk about the different integrations we have. I'll also go in and do a live demo in the dashboard of how to use Fireflies. And we'll wrap things up by talking about the pricing. We have very transparent pricing here at Fireflies the privacy, security features that you might be interested in, as well as answering some of the more frequently asked questions people have when they are first starting to explore and look at Fireflies as an option for their company. So I'll start with a quick overview of ourselves. So Fireflies is a global startup. Uh, this, I am Chris Ramanini, the co-founder and CEO. And we are actually now in over 15 countries. So when we did this, it was about five countries. But over the past year and a half, we've grown rapidly. And we are very excited to be servicing you guys and building a platform that thousands and thousands of companies are able to use every single day in the workplace to be more productive. We have some amazing investors as well backing us, including Canaan partners, Coastal Ventures, Stanford University, and many angel investors who have worked at top tier companies, including the former chief product officer at Slack, the former chief marketing officer at Salesforce, and early employees at both Dropbox and Salesforce, Twitter, many of these top tier companies. And we have this amazing support network that helps us build the company that it is today. And we couldn't do it without these guys. Fireflies has raised money over the past couple years. So we are past our Series A. Uh, we're a company that has more than 100 people. And we are growing like crazy. So we have a lot of folks that are already users of Fireflies that also want to work at Fireflies. So if you're interested, feel free to reach out to us regarding that. So that's my little pitch about the company. And we will get started. So today, Fireflies is used in... 100 plus com uh, countries and it is used in several different continents it's used across different use cases we've had supported users and generated nodes for millions of people over the last couple of years and we have learned lessons to make the system more scalable and also create a wonderful experience thanks to all the feedback that each and every person is able to provide us so without further ado, what is Fireflies? Fireflies is an AI meeting assistant. Our AI's name is Fred, and Fred will be able to join your meetings. He'll be able to take notes. He'll be able to help you remember all of your conversations. So if there's one thing you can get out of it, you can get that Fireflies is an AI note taker, and it's an assistant that joins your meetings and takes notes for you. So how does it work? It connects to your calendar. We support both Google and Outlook calendar. And it will then determine which meetings to join on your calendar that have a video conferencing link. And we support all the major video conferencing platforms, whether you're using Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, WebEx, GoToMeeting, several of the major platforms we support today. It'll join the meeting as a participant, a silent participant, and then it will capture everything, transcribe everything, summarize it, and send the notes afterwards. Usually, Within five to 10 minutes after the meeting, you'll have your notes and you can review everything and stay on top of your conversations, whether that is a sales call, a team meeting, a hiring interview, we support it all. 
So just recapping, the transcription and summarization is just the surface. It's just the tip of the iceberg. You can also go back and search back through all your conversations. And you, we also provide conversation intelligence and analytics today. So now you can analyze your different conversations, look at sentiment, look at talk time, and we'll dive a little bit deeper into this and I'll show it in the dashboard as well. We also have integrations to dozens of applications. We have integrations to all the top CRMs out there like Salesforce, HubSpot, Pipedrive. We also integrate with project management and workflow platforms like Asana, ClickUp, and storage systems like Dropbox, uh, communication systems like Slack. So wherever you're working, our goal is that you can have your meeting notes and summaries and transcripts shared to the platforms where you already work afterwards. And usually most of these integrations take one click. And once you set them up after a meeting, I can have my meeting notes sent to a particular Slack channel after every conversation. So there is a diverse number of use cases. Unlike some of the other platforms out there, we believe that an AI assistant should be used by every person in the organization. This is not just a tool that your sales team can use. It's something that your recruiters can use, your product managers, project managers. And we use Fireflies in every meeting, every aspect of onboarding, training, coaching. So it really is a true collaboration platform that can be used by every person in the organization. And we've built it with that in mind, even when it comes to how we price and how we make it affordable. So that's really our go-to is that every person in your team should be able to leverage and get the most value out of Fireflies. So what are the different ways to capture meetings? We talked about one, which is you can have the AI note taker join your meetings. And what you can do there is invite Fred at fireflies.ai to a calendar event. And that way, if the calendar event has a Zoom URL or a Google Meet URL, it'll then parse that out, detect it, and then join that meeting. You can also look at where you're putting the uh, URLs. So here's just a quick example of that. So if the URL is there, uh, Fireflies will be able to read it and join those meetings. And this also includes like meeting URLs that have you know passwords, right, for Zoom. So Fireflies will be able to join those. And when it joins the call, it'll be like an AI assistant. It'll usually say Fireflies.ai note taker as well as the name of the person that it's joining on behalf of. So that way it eliminates confusion if multiple people are using Fireflies inside an organization. The other way is to have Fireflies auto join your meeting so that you don't have to manually invite Fred at Fireflies.ai every time. You can have calendar settings set to join all calendar events with a web conferencing link. If I have this set up, then Fireflies will automatically look at my calendar every day and then detect when the meeting is and join it. I don't have to manually invite it. We also have more granular settings here. So if I only wanted to join meetings that I'm the owner of, we have that option. If I wanted to join only internal meetings or only external meetings with clients, we have those options as well. Fireflies will be able to detect who the participants are, the emails of the participants, and then determine whether it should be joining that meeting or not. And you can configure who gets the meeting recaps afterwards. So after the meeting, within a few minutes, Fireflies processes everything and sends the meeting recaps. And you can have the meeting recaps be sent to only the participants, everyone that was uh, uh, on the meeting. Uh, you can have it sent to only teammates that were on the meeting. You can have it sent only to you. So there's a lot of granularity as well in terms of who can get the recaps after the meeting. And these meeting recaps are typically emailed to you uh, afterwards. So one of the things we like to recommend is before using the Fireflies note taker bot, just make sure to go into your Zoom settings or Microsoft Teams settings and have these uh, settings uh, are the exact same. So for example, for Zoom, only authenticated users can join meetings from web client because Fireflies joins as a guest, you wanna disable that. Um, and then for Microsoft Teams, you want to enable this uh, feature which says allow guest access in Microsoft Teams. This way, Fireflies, because it's a guest, can join your meeting um, and the note taker bot can successfully enter the meetings without uh, having any issues. Another way you can add Fireflies to meetings is let's say it's a live meeting and you forgot to invite Fireflies to your calendar or forgot to set your auto join settings. What you can do here is you can do use the add to live meeting function, put in the meeting URL, and then within one to two minutes, Fireflies will be able to join that call as well. 
The other options are within Zoom or Google Meet directly. There'll be an invite button and via email, and then you can invite Fred at fireflies.ai. Just like how you'd invite another participant or another teammate, you can do that. We also have a Chrome extension. So let's say uh, you don't want to use the bot for whatever reason. If you're using Google Meet, we have a Chrome extension in the Chrome Web Store. You can install that and Fireflies will be able to capture your Google Meet meetings. Today, the Chrome extension supports Google Meet. Um, that is the primary platform that we support. We can also, through the Chrome extension, pull videos or audio files from other systems. For example, if you're using Loom, uh, we can uh, pull the audio file and the video file from Loom and process it and save it to the Fireflies notebook. So that's another option that you have. We're gonna to continue to build the Chrome extension to add more capabilities, but for today, it's right now Google Meet. Let's say you already have an existing reco recording or an audio file. You can upload both an MP3 file, you can even upload a video file, like an MP4, we support that recently. Um, and you can just drag and drop, upload it like you would upload into Dropbox and have that meeting transcribed. We also have a Zoom native integration. So if you're using Zoom and you don't want the bot to join your meetings and you want to capture the meetings another way, you can go to uh, Zoom and install the uh, native integration. And what this does is you can record on the Zoom platform and then that audio file will be sent to Fireflies and gets processed. So that way you don't have to have the bot join and do the recording. So this is another way. Again, the most popular and the easiest way and the recommended way is just use the Fireflies AI note taker and have it join your meetings. But um, if you, for whatever reason, want to use some of these other ways, we offer that as well. We're all about flexibility here. So after the meeting, you get a meeting recap uh, over email like this, and then you can click into the meeting and you can see the meeting recap. And the meeting recap will also be saved inside your notebook. I'll show an actual demo uh, of the notebook and how it works. And the nice part is I can also have channels. Similar to Slack, I can create different channels. I can have a channel for all my marketing meetings, all my uh, recruiting meetings, all my sales meetings, uh, all my product meetings. I can organize my meetings into different channels. And this way I can organize all of my team's conversations, right? If I have all my teammates, all their conversations would be in this notebook. All of those conversations can be put in different channels and now I have the voice of my customers, my candidates, as well as my entire company in one central place. And this is really, really powerful, valuable data that I can quickly search back through. So if I wanted to know what was discussed on a product meeting six months ago related to a certain topic, all I have to do is search it up and I can go directly into that meeting, go exactly into five minutes or seven minutes into a call and know what was discussed. That is powerful. We wanna give you perfect recall of your conversations. So you can remember things you talked about six years ago if you wanted. So there's many other key features uh, that are available within Fireflies. One, my favorite is AI summary. So we will generate the transcript, but we will also create an AI generated summary, which will paraphrase like a human would what was going on in the meeting. It's a few paragraphs and that should give you a gist of the meeting. So if you didn't go through the meeting, uh, that will help you just get a quick idea of what went on. We also have video recording available on the business tier. And that way, so if something important was shared on the screen, uh, that will also be captured. So we not only get the audio, the transcript, but we will also have the video that you can see. We have smart search capabilities and global search capabilities. So what that means is within a meeting, you can quickly identify what were topics, dates, times, all that important information. And global search lets you search back through all of your past meetings for important words that were discussed on those meetings. I already mentioned channels. We have a commenting feature, which is great for coaching. So let's say there was a sales call and you wanna to go to a particular part where uh, the sales rep said something, you can go there, you can leave a comment and it'll leave a timestamp comment at that part of the call. And so when your sales rep goes back and looks and reviews for feedback, instantly they can just jump to that part of the call. It's as powerful as when you go through a Google Doc, for example, and leave comments at different parts of the doc and people can quickly go in and correct those. It's the same way. So you're able to give on the spot coaching with the Fireflies platform. One of my favorite features as well is Soundbite. So if there was like a 30 second important snippet in the call that, that let's say a customer gave some feedback, I can then just quickly go highlight that part and then turn it into a Soundbite that I can share with the team. This way they don't have to go back, sit and re-listen to the entire meeting 
they will have to, they can just go listen to that 30 second snippet or sound bite that was created. We also have conversation intelligence and analytics. So this is really robust. Again, whether you're recruiting candidates and you wanna understand like what was the sentiment of the candidates or you wanna see analytics on what were key topics that were talked about, we have robust conversation intelligence uh, there. And we also have talk time analytics, how long someone spoke, how fast someone spoke, all of those are there. And there's something new that we're gonna be introducing in Fireflies uh, over time. And these are called AI extensions. These are like magic workflows that you can use. We've been leveraging key technology like GPT-3 from OpenAI that will really produce magic. So we're building apps on top of Fireflies in a nutshell. And these AI extensions will be able to do really, really powerful things. Uh, one of the first things that we're able to do is if you have any questions you had in a meeting, just like how you go just type in a question you have on Google, you can just type in a question to Fred and then Fred will answer those questions easily for you. Next, I wanna talk about some of the integrations that are available for Fireflies. Starting with the video conferencing platforms, Fireflies joins meetings across Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, Skype, GoToMeeting, BlueJeans, LifeSize, Cisco WebEx, and recently Uber Conference, which is now Dialpad. So all of the major video conferencing providers that you can think of. Most people will be using Zoom, Google Meet, or Microsoft Teams. That's where we see the most volume. But if you have a meeting URL to any of these meetings, Fireflies will be able to read that on the invite and join those. We also support integrations to dialers. So these are telephony systems that you might be using. Very popular dialers are like AirCall or RingCentral, usually support and sales folks will use this to make phone calls. And when you turn on these integrations in the Firefly system, uh, when you start recording those calls on AirCall, they will get fetched into Fireflies and processed. One, uh, one that's not included here, but we also support is the HubSpot dialer. So if you're using any of these systems to make outbound calls, and you are recording them and you have the integration turn on, Fireflies will be able to transcribe it, analyze it, process it, and save it into the notebook. We also support integrations to several different apps. So after meetings, you can have your meeting notes sent to CRMs like Salesforce, Pipedrive, HubSpot, Zoho, a lot of CRMs out there. And what Fireflies will do is it'll know who you had the meeting with based on the information in the calendar invite and then it will know where to go inside Salesforce under the contact or under the deal and log the information there. And you can customize those settings the way you please. But this way, after every call, I don't have to manually go fill out my CRM and update the notes uh, or the call data. Fireflies will do it for me. We also have integrations to storage systems like Dropbox, Box, OneDrive. And if you're using Zapier, you can even connect to Google Drive. And this way you can send meeting transcripts as well as recordings into these storage systems. Another cool feature with these storage systems is that if you have files that you have and you can throw them into audio files into these storage systems and Fireflies will be able to process those. So we have a two-way sync for these storage systems where you can push all of your transcripts and recordings afterwards to these systems. Or if you have new files, you can bulk upload them to uh one of the uh, designated folders, and then Fireflies would come and fetch and process those. Uh, we have integrations to collaboration apps, uh, project management apps like uh, like Asana, Trello, ClickUp, Monday.com, and you can use voice commands. So if you say something on a meeting and you, you trigger a voice command, you can have that go and create a task or a card inside one of these systems. Uh, you can send meeting notes to Slack and we also, or Microsoft Teams, and we also have different calendaring support. We, I mentioned how we have Outlook and Google Calendar, but if you're scheduling using other scheduling tools like Calendly or uh, any of these other tools, that will also work because once the invite shows up on the calendar, Fireflies will be able to process things that are on Google or Outlook Calendar. And next, we'll go into a product demo. I'm gonna actually show you how to create an account and the overall flow, as well as going through different parts of the dashboard itself. So let's switch over to the actual screen uh, and I will share my screen. All right, I'm on the Firefly's main website. I'm just gonna hit get started for free. And then from here, 
we'll have two options to log in with Google Calendar or Outlook Calendar. I'm gonna select Google Calendar and then I'm gonna make sure I enter my details and log in. So it's just like logging into any other app with Google or Outlook, that's all there is to it. So I'm logging in here. I'm gonna give Fireflies my calendar access so that it can read the calendar. And on this screen, I get to pick my meeting settings. So I can have Fireflies join all my calendar events. I can have it join only events that I'm the owner of. I can have it join events only when I explicitly invite Fred at Fireflies.ai. And likewise here, I can choose who the recaps get sent to. So I'm gonna have it so that the recaps only get sent to uh, me and participants from my team, let's say. And I'm gonna have my join settings set to all. Remember, this is an important step. Make sure you just look at it and review it. Next, I can invite teammates to my workspace. So if there's other people from my company that I want them to review the transcripts, uh, I can put their names in. I just have to write their email and uh, use comma separations, and I can do that. Next, you have the option to start a seven day free trial. We highly recommend this because with this, you will be able to get full access to all the transcription capabilities, the analytics capabilities, video recording, as well as being able to download the data. So you're getting unrestricted access during the seven day trial. So I would highly recommend it. Get that trial going and you can invite your teammates so that during those seven days, your teammates will also get that trial. So that's what the free trial is. If you're on the free tier, you'll get a few free credits. There's restrictions. Um, some of the features are paywalled. So I would say get on that free trial so that you can really experience Fireflies and get the full experience that you would like. All right, we're inside the dashboard. There's just a little notification that tells you, hey, Fireflies is, joins your meeting as a participant. You can kick it out of the meeting just like how you would kick out uh, any person. And just make sure to follow your local state recording rules. Uh, this is really important because, you know, in some states and some countries, you need to notify when you are having the meeting recorded or transcribed. So that's just saying, hey, just make sure to follow the rules. You'll usually also be able to see the platform rules there. Okay, that's the basic housekeeping stuff. Let's go in and explore the entire platform as a whole. So what you'll see here on the welcome screen is your upcoming meetings that Fireflies has detected. On the top right, you'll see your join settings and email recap settings as well. So again, you can configure it. We make this extra, extra clear so that you can always know uh, what your settings are. Because my settings are on join all calendar events, these things are automatically toggled, so it will join all of these upcoming meetings. I can also disable it if I wanted for a particular meeting, and I have my recap sent to send to only me. I can use add to live meeting, and I can also upload audio files like I've described. We also have access where you can go ahead and download the Chrome extension if you're using Google Meet and want to capture meetings without the bot. On the bottom right here, it'll tell you who on your team is using Fireflies and then you can also invite the different coworkers to your team and you can also take a link and share that link with folks. So this way, it's very easy to get Fireflies utilized by your entire team. Really, like Fireflies is great if you're an individual user, but it's even better when you use it as part of a team. So that's the real value add. Okay, so what I have here is an upcoming calendar event with a video conferencing URL. And because my settings are set so that Fireflies automatically joins when there's a calendar event with a meeting URL, so here it's Google Meet, it should be able to join the meeting. So let's go ahead and hop into the meeting and we'll see Fireflies request to join. Okay, I'm gonna hit join now. And as you can see here, Fireflies note taker Krish has requested to join the meeting and I'm gonna admit it into the meeting. Perfect. So when I look at the participants list, Fireflies will be silent participant on the meeting and it will be able to silently be there and take notes. Now, if I have the Chrome extension installed, I can also record directly from the Chrome extension without having the bot. So that's another option that you can utilize if you are using the Chrome extension on Google Meet. Right now, the Chrome extension capture only works for Google Meet. I can also have it toggle to auto capture. So anytime a Google Meet starts, it'll auto capture it. That's also an option that's available. But since I have the bot on there, I don't need to use the Chrome extension. And if for whatever reason, I don't want Fireflies to continue capturing the meeting, I can just remove it like how I would remove another participant from a call. And usually if you remove it within the first one to two minutes, 
it will not process any of it. Uh, but that is just something for you to know that you can remove fireflies uh, from meetings. So this is what happens. And then a few minutes after the meeting, you will get a meeting recap over email. And let's go into that as well and show you what happens both via email and within the notebook. So I'm in my email right now. And after the meeting, I got the meeting recap. I can go view the recap. There's a little bit of information as well about fireflies. And so I, let's go ahead and click into the meeting recap and then see what was captured. So here we have the meeting recap and on the right hand side is the transcript that I can go ahead and review, search through uh, whatever we talked about. For example, we talked about notifications. So I can just see automatically where notifications was discussed. I, can I didn't see that, that um, notification. And I can even listen to what was said. Fireflies also detects speakers on all the major video conferencing platforms and you'll be able to see just specifically speaker talk tracks as well here. So uh, if I just want to look at Chris's talk tracks, I can just filter to that. If I want to listen to another teammate's talk, talk tracks, I can do that. It'll also tell you how much each person spoke on the meeting versus others. So for example, I spoke 51% of the time on the meeting. Maybe I spoke for 29%. So all of a sudden you're getting quick talk time analytics as well. So that's what the transcript is. You can search through it. You can play the transcript and the audio at 2x speed if you would like. You can skip through. And right here in the middle is where you have the AI generated summary that is extremely accurate. It'll also pull out keywords that were discussed during the call. In the center up top is the video recording. So if we were doing any screen sharing or anything relevant like that, so this will be really- We for sure wanna be- and I can see the screen as well, if that's what I want to do. And let's go ahead and talk about the smart search filters. So this is really powerful. So this is a long meeting, right? It's like 40 minutes and I don't want to be, I don't have time to go through everything. So if I just want to know when dates and times were discussed on the meeting, I would just click dates and times and it would show me the dates and times. If I click on questions, it'll show me all the questions that were asked on the meeting. If I click on metrics, it'll show me all the different metrics that were brought up on the meeting. If I click on tasks, it'll show me potential action items and next steps. Uh, we also have a pricing, which is will tell me like when pricing was being discussed. We also have sentiment. So where can I see if there was negative sentiment on the call versus positive sentiment all the, on the call? This is great for customer calls, recruiting calls, internal team meetings. We talked about speakers, which will tell you how much you're talking on the meeting, how fast you're talking on the meeting, who was talking on the meeting. And then we also have topic trackers. So here I can have specific words uh, that are categorized as topics that I can filter through and search for. So for example, if I want to look at objections or when we're talking about integrations, so all of these things are available and I can create my own topic trackers. I don't have to just rely on the default AI filters. I can create my own topic trackers by going here and clicking on add topic trackers. It's also on the uh, right hand side right here on the nav bar. So I would just go in and say, Hey, I want to know what integrations we talk about. And then I can just go ahead and put in integrations like Slack, Salesforce, et cetera. And then when those words are brought up, it will show up here and you'll see a counter of how many times those words were said. Easy way to analyze, scan your meetings. And it's very, very consistent. If I want to provide coaching at specific parts of the call, I can go here and you know provide a little quote or a little feedback. And then there'll be a timestamped quote that will be there. What's super cool about this commenting feature is that if I'm leaving comments in the Meet Google Meet itself or Zoom itself, and if I leave uh, comments there in the chat, they will get saved here. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if I'm in my Zoom or Google Meet or Microsoft Teams meeting and I leave some comments here, that comment will get timestamped and saved to the meeting afterward, the recap afterwards. So that is super cool. Great. And one other thing that's worth talking about here is if there was something important said, that 30 second clip, that was really great. I can highlight it and just create a sound bite. And then now I can just go copy and go ahead and share that sound bite. I can also edit the sound bite, adjust the length, uh, all of that. I can create a tag for the sound bite, but that makes it very, very easy to be able to share important parts of calls. Uh, 
And anytime I leave a comment or create a soundbite, or I can even put like a pin at a particular part of a call. So, hey, this part once yeah, she's some good stuff. So I'm, I can go ahead and put a pin. Uh, I can hit a thumbs up. So all of those are a thumbs down. Like I can do that. I can react to different parts of the call. So next time I share this meeting recap with my teammates and share the URL, they can just go to the parts where I left comments or parts where I left the pins and just review those parts and it can save a ton of time for users. Okay. So this is an example of a sound bite. So if I shared that sound bite, then I can, they only have to listen to that 30 second, 10 second clip instead of the entire meeting. So that's the magic of sound bites. So, wow, we covered a lot here in terms of the notepad. It's action packed. You can edit the transcript as well. Um, what else have we not covered? You can download the recording, the video, or the transcript, and you can download the transcript in several different formats. Yeah, that is in a nutshell, everything with the Fireflies notepad that gives you a full overview of what the platform itself can do after every meeting. Right. Next, let's go into some of the other features and functionalities. Uh, I will start with the notebook. So after a meeting, everything is saved into a notebook. So the way I access this is through my notebook right here. And so I can go into a particular meeting that way. And as I mentioned earlier, you can organize these into different channels. You can see your meetings, your entire team's meetings, meetings that were shared with you. And it's really creating a repository or knowledge base of all of your team's conversations, which is extremely powerful. And I can also search through what was discussed. Like for example, are we, whenever we're talking about Microsoft uh, in the last couple weeks, I can go ahead and see all the conversations across my team where we were discussing Microsoft and jump to that particular part. So just like how you can search through all your emails, you can now search through your meetings and jump to the most relevant parts and have perfect recall. And these are the channels. We have both private and public channels. If you use Slack, it's very similar to that. So if you want access controls, you don't want people to see certain meetings, this gives you that flexibility to have private channels. This is the meeting status page. It'll tell you how long uh, you know it takes before the meeting is ready. So it'll also tell you who it joined on behalf of. And if for some reason someone didn't let it into the meeting, it'll also give you that. So it's just a status bar to tell you the status of the meeting afterwards, because it takes about a few minutes for the meeting to process. Uploads here, uh, I can just go ahead and up drag and drop an audio file in, a video file in, and have that transcribed if I already have existing audio files. We talked about topic trackers and how to create them. Let's go into integrations and just give you a brief primer. We'll do a more detailed webinar on different integrations because I think that's a topic on its own. But in a nutshell, right, let's pick out some of the popular ones. If I'm using a CRM integration, I can just go ahead here, click on HubSpot, for example, which is a very popular integration. I would just connect in and then I can customize how the notes should be sent in, right? Should it log it only to a contact? Should it also log the it under a pipeline deal? And I can customize how the data gets pushed into these CRM integrations. Here I am in my HubSpot CRM and my teammate just had a meeting. And here I can see the summary keywords that were detected as well as his own topic trackers that he set up. And it's generated AI notes. This was all automated by Fireflies and the call data gets logged into the CRM. So that's a perfect example. Again, the same sort of data, if I turn it on for Slack, would get sent into the Slack channel afterwards as well. So this is a nutshell what some of the powerful workflow capabilities, integration capabilities are with Fireflies. And we have dozens of different integrations. So as I mentioned, there's CRM integrations, there's project management integrations. So for example, if I go ahead and set up the Trello integration, I can do essentially some of the same stuff. We have the Asana integration, so where I can pick the workspace, I can pick the topics I want, like for example, the voice commands, and when certain voice commands are said, those will get automatically saved into Asana as cards. We have the Slack integration as well, which is a very popular integration. We have note-taking integrations to Notion, so you can have notes saved directly to Notion or Google Docs, and 
many, many different places. So the same notes you saw that went into HubSpot can be sent into Slack for a particular Slack channel as well. So you can explore that. We'll do a more deep dive on uh, CRMs as a whole. You can reach out to us with questions. I also talked about the dialer integration so that if you turn it on, any call that's recorded through AirCall will get processed and transcribed by Fireflies. So much uh, here to leverage. Storage integrations, Dropbox, for example. I can save, choose the format I want to save the transcripts into. I can pick the folder. I can also choose which folders to pull audio from and transcribe as well. So that's the opportunity with the storage integrations. Next, I'm going to go into analytics right here. And with analytics, we can actually show you at a admin level, what are all the different things you can view and review. So let's go ahead and do that. So in the analytics, I can see the general talk time details, right? How many conversations my team is having, how much time they're spending in meetings, how many meetings did my team have this week versus other weeks? I can look at last seven days, last 30 days, or pick a custom time range. How many questions? What are the filler words, monologues meaning, are there times when they're just talking nonstop in certain meetings? Lots of insight. This is true conversational intelligence. We give you the capabilities of an enterprise grade platform, some of those sales specific platforms, but we make it simpler, easy to use. And it is something that's extremely valuable for admins, for coaching purposes, training purposes, insights purposes, sentiment tracking purposes, talk time purposes. And you can get a breakdown of each and every person in your team that is having meetings. It is extremely valuable to be able to do this level of quality assurance at scale. Because if you had to do this manually, it would take hours, weeks, months in order to get through everything. So you can get a bird's eye view of all the conversations that your team is having. And we also have topic insights so that those individual topics that you're able to track inside the meeting, we have it at a aggregate level. So I can pick the teammate and I can pick a range. And for example, I can see, oh, my teammate had 170 conversations in the past seven days where Slack was brought up in 130 of those conversations. Seems like Slack is a very important integration for people. And it was brought up 347 times. That is like an incredible amount of times that Slack was discussed. So that's like the number of times it was mentioned, in which conversations it was mentioned. You can quickly now know like objections, uh, when competitors are being discussed, all the key sort of information that will help you understand the voice of your customers, your employees, and your company as a whole. This is the Teams page where I can invite other team members. I can make some people admins if I wanted to. And I can also pick from my system like, hey, who are the people from my domain that are using Fireflies but not on the Fireflies workspace yet? So that gives me granularity. I can also control admin settings. This is really, really powerful. If you want everyone on your team to have the same join settings and the share settings, you go here into the team section, you go into settings, and you can configure your settings for everyone. By default, it'll allow each user or each teammate to choose. But if you force it, then that'll be the same setting that'll be propagated to everyone on the team. So you as an admin have full control. This way you don't have fireflies joining meetings it's not supposed to. Um, or having your teammates go off and do their own thing. It will be tightly regulated and you can do that. You can also have advanced settings. We have single sign-on. If you're an enterprise person, reach out to us if you're interested in single sign-on. Uh, but for most folks, that's not really that important. Um, but if you're a larger team, we get it. We also have team integrations that's coming up. So where we're going to be able to create ways where one person can turn on the integration for everyone on the team. That's not out yet. Um, and then let's go into the individual settings. So one here, you can pick your join settings, like we talked about, your email settings, who the meeting recap gets sent to, the privacy settings, meaning if the URL is for whatever reason shared, but you don't want them to have access to it, you can control it. Similar to like how you can control the permissions on a Google Docs, you can control that settings. You can set control it here for all of your meetings, or you can do it on a per meeting basis as well. And when you make the settings change, it will ask you, if you want it to apply to all your past meetings or not, right? So you have that granularity um, as well. And let me show you what I mean by on a, if you wanna do it for bulk for all your meetings, this is where you do it. So if you make this change, all your future meetings 
we'll have this setting updated. But if you want it only for, you know, on a per meeting basis, we'll just have to go into the notebook, find a meeting, and then we can show you how that works. So I'm gonna go in, pick a meeting here. And so I can just go here and click this globe icon and control who can see the meeting recap. So that is an example of the privacy settings. Um, so when I actually do share this meeting URL with someone, if this icon is set to only teammates, only teammates that are logged in would be able to see it. But if I have it on the globe, then anyone, both guests as well as Fireflies users, uh, will be able to see that recap. Okay. So we talked about the settings, email settings, privacy settings. Oh yes, we have foreign languages now, finally. So we have several different languages and several different accents we're supporting as well. Dutch, Portuguese, Italian, German, French, Spanish as well as US English, Australian English, British English. And if you're from any other part of the world, just select the global English option. There's also an ability to select auto detect the language. So if you are going into a meeting and you know it's gonna be in Portuguese, what we recommend is going in here, selecting Portuguese before the start of the meeting. The automatic detection is in beta, so it may not always be able to detect that you're talking in Portuguese, but if you are able to select it before the start of the meeting, it will start transcribing that meeting in Portuguese. So I have that on auto and most of my meetings, if not all of my meetings are in English, so it'll automatically detect English. English is again, very, very accurate. And uh, the other foreign languages are improving, but we have that as well. Another setting here is the meeting recording. So if you want video captured, you have to go ahead into settings and turn it on. That is an important feature. Uh, for you to be able to capture video. We don't just do it by default unless you explicitly turn it on. Next, bar rules and join rules. So the simplest way I can describe this is that if you have your settings on auto join and Fireflies is joining every meeting, but there are certain meetings you don't want it to join, you wanna keep the auto join settings, but you don't want it to join certain meetings, you can use the bar rules. So bar rules means I have it on auto join, but I don't want it to join any meeting with a title that says board meeting then it will not join it, right? I'm gonna delete that because I actually do want it to join my board meetings. And similarly with join rules, what it means is if I have my settings on manual where Fireflies will only join when I explicitly invite Fred at fireflies.ai, but there are certain meeting titles where I want it to join regardless of my settings. So then I can just go ahead and put in like customer discovery. So regardless of what my settings are, Fireflies will join that meeting with those titles nonetheless. So think of bar rules and join rules as things that bypass whatever settings you have here for the auto join settings and it will then join the meetings uh, based on these conditions these are kind of like exceptions to the rule um, for lack of better words meeting compliance so if you want your participants to know ahead of time before the meeting that you're going to be using fireflies and you just want to notify them you can turn this on and it'll send them an email before the meeting saying hey i'm fireflies uh, you can also edit the custom message and there will be an opt out button. So if any one of those people say, no, I don't want this meeting transcribed and captured, they can click that and then Fireflies will not join that call. The AI customization settings here. So this is how you can improve your transcription accuracy. You can pick the domain you're coming from. And so Fireflies will fine tune for that model. You can also put in certain words, pro proper nouns that you usually talk about that might be unique to your business. And Fireflies will try to detect for that and try to get it right during the meeting, okay? So that's pretty much the settings and then you have the billing section. Um, but overall as a whole, we've gone through most of the platform in pretty quick time. So we went through settings, we went through team analytics, the team settings, integrations, uploads, and yeah, we'll, hopefully this was a good demo guys uh, that covered a lot of important stuff. So I'm gonna go back to the home screen and let us hop back into the slides. Alrighty. So that was the product demo. We should talk about pricing and we have very transparent pricing on our website for most people, for their purposes, whether you're a small startup of two people or a hundred people or 500 people or a thousand people, it should scale for you. That's what Fireflies is built on. So let's go into pricing and you'll be able to see that actually on our website on fireflies.ai slash pricing. And you can see the details. We have a free tier. We have the free trial as well, seven day free trial. And I will take a few minutes to quickly go through the pricing, the seats, the details related to that. 
So on the free tier, you have limited transcription credits uh, and you can get some more if you invite people, but really transcription starts on the pro and business tier. That's where you're gonna have transcription. You have unlimited transcription credits. So let me clarify on what that means. So if you're using Fireflies with the meeting bot or the Chrome extension or dialers, then you will have unlimited transcription credits. If you are uploading tons of audio files or using Zapier or API, then there are some rate limits that you can look at here. But typically you'll get 2000 minutes uh, for the API or for the uh, Zapier or Dropbox audio upload, or if you're trying to transcribe past meetings that you had while you were on the free tier. So that's that. And after that, there's an additional charge per minute after you've used up your, your minutes. But for 95% of people, maybe even 99% of people, if you're just using the bot to join, transcribe your meeting, you do not have to worry about transcription credits if you're on the pro or business tier. Now storage, what that means is it's amount of storage, similar to how like Dropbox, you have like one gigabyte of storage. It's similar to that. On the free tier, you have 800 minutes of storage. And this storage applies totally, like overall. It doesn't mean like per month, it's just overall. So once you've hit your 800 minutes of storage, you can delete files and free up more storage if you'd like. You can upgrade to Pro where you get 8,000 minutes of storage per user. So if I have 10 people on my team, my team will get 80,000 minutes of storage. So. Business tier, you don't even have to worry about storage. It's unlimited storage along with the unlimited transcription. So that's the main things with transcription and storage. Probably easy enough. All right. So some of the key features here, you are able to record meetings across all of these platforms. You will be getting automated summaries if you're using transcription credits, right? And you can search within the meetings uh, when you're using your transcription credits. You can create sound bites, and really, that's kind of the main main thing here. You also have a few access to three public channels. Let's focus on the pro and business for your purposes. If you're trying to look for apples to apples conversation intelligence platform, you're probably going for the business tier. But in reality, you get the ability to download and pull transcripts. Global search, which is actually out now, it's no longer coming soon. It is out. We have smart search filters, AI meeting summaries. If you're on the business tier, you're gonna get higher grade AI summaries, like very premium quality AI summaries, you can say. And that is available because we're using a better AI engine to summarize the meetings. You're getting speaker talk time, keywords, unlimited public channels on the pro tier. You get private channels as well on the business tier and priority support. Uh, you know, all the CRM integration access is on the paid tier. So. If you're an individual user and you're just trying to get your meetings transcribed, Pro is great for you in a nutshell. If you are a team user and you want integrations, you want analytics, uh, you want higher quality summaries, then it will be the business tier. It's $19 per month per seat billed annually. And you can also choose the monthly option if you would like, it's a little bit more expensive. But again, on the market compared to most of these heavy duty conversation intelligence tools, uh, tools we are pricing to be the most affordable with the most functionality so that everyone on your team can use it. We know that comparable products will charge anywhere around 120 to $150 per seat for the enterprise grade platforms. So we want to provide the value of enterprise, the ease of use of a consumer tool and something that a two person company or a 500 person con company can use. Now, if you have lots of users, let's say over 50 members, hundred members, and you want SSO, you want like some extra access to uh, the API, or you have other like custom sort of settings that you need to set up, you can contact us. Uh, but for most people, the business tier will suffice and the pro tier if you're an individual user, right? So that's that. And we have a detailed breakdown of what every feature is, how every feature works that you can also see here. Great, so that is pricing. We'll talk about privacy, security, compliance, some of the main stuff. You can also see this information related to security here in our resources, in the security section, what we do, what we provide. But again, high level overview, we are currently SOC 2 certified. We also have a private cloud offering if you're on the enterprise and you wanna like store your data to the private cloud, we have that option as well. We are doing encryption of data at rest. We do encryption of data in transit. We have our backend servers that are isolated on their own networks. 
We have the different privacy controls, both for admins as well as individuals, whether it's the meeting recaps, whether it's which meetings Fireflies joins or how Fireflies is shared, or the notification that's sent out, the team management capabilities, all of those are available. We encrypt our customer data and we are using databases which are hosted on a private cloud. That's also SOC 2 Type 2 uh, supported, SOC 3 certified, and ISO 2701 certified, so all of that. The data is stored predominantly in the US. We operate in the US, that is why. Fireflies is still built according to GDPR requirements and standards. Um, if you want more information on our GDPR report or you want more information related to our SOC 2 report, you can reach out to security at fireflies.ai. Most of this information is there uh, on what our uptime practices are, our encryption practices. We do do third-party audits as well. And we have um, a bug bounty and uh, uh, a program where People are able to constantly help us improve the system and make it more safe and reliable for all of you. So that is privacy. Alrighty, let's go open it up to some of the questions people have had. My team had pulled up some of the common questions and I will try to go through as many of these as possible. And if there are other questions, my teams will be able to help in the chat. Right. So how does Fireflies know which meetings to join on the calendar? I mentioned this earlier, but it will be able to see the meeting, who the owner is, what the meeting URL is, and it'll parse it and then be able to join that meeting. Is the Fireflies AI note taker bot available for all tiers? Yes, you can use the bot note taker bot for all tiers, free, pro, business. And really the main difference is whether if you want transcription, you're gonna be on the pro or business tier. If you just want some of the recordings, then you're gonna be on the free tier. How can we increase the accuracy of the transcript? We are constantly uh, working on this. We've made immense strides over the past year and a half, past two years to improve the accuracy to almost human level. And again, the really core factors that comes down to accuracy is how good your mic is. Are, is there a lot of background noise? Are people talking over each other? How clearly you're talking on meetings in general will have the highest impact. You can also pick some of the other options like pick your domain where you're having your meetings. Are you having primarily sales meetings, recruiting meetings, and so it can pick that up. You can also use custom vocabulary and that will improve. You can also edit your transcripts and that will help train the system progressively over time. But this will constantly be up there. We are definitely, when we do benchmark tests against some of the top ASR transcription providers out there, we continue to rank in the top one to two uh, out there. We do word error rate assessments. So we have some of this data. So if you're specifically curious about how we compare, you can reach out to us, but we are one of the best there is in the industry and with the data that's provided uh, by folks that have done these assessments. Can an ad, as an admin, can I control manage Fireflies for my entire team? Absolutely. So in the team settings, uh, there is specifically admin level settings, which I showed in the dashboard earlier. And that is, how, that is where you can really control the settings. By default, it'll allow users to pick their own settings, but you can enforce it so that no matter who joins your workspace, those settings will be enabled. Let me go ahead and show that one more time because I think that is worth talking about. So here I go into settings and I can enforce the settings for all my teammates. I can also turn this feature on, which is really important, add new users from my company to the team. Because today, if someone else from your company is starting to use Fireflies and they're not part of your workspace, you can't enforce these settings. So if you turn this toggle on, that way any person from your domain that's joining, right? You're from Tesla. If it's a Bob from Tesla.com signs up for Fireflies and you're the admin of the Tesla workspace, if you turn this on, Bob will be added to your workspace and these settings will comply for him. So that is why we highly recommend turning this on so that he's added to your workspace. It'll also benefit Bob because he can see other teammates' meetings and have contacts, you can also review stuff and then you can also control the settings here for Bob and everyone else on your team. So hop in. How much transcription do I get on my account? So on the free tier, you get a few transcription credits. You can get some more if you invite teammates and, and so forth, but really transcription is on the pro and business tier. It's unlimited transcription for the bot or the Chrome extension uh, or the dialers that are out there, but for other stuff that you're using, like a bulk uploading audio files, there's rate limits. You can see that on our pricing section as well. How does Fireflies compare to other sales specific conversation intelligence platforms? So 
We've actually had dozens of companies that have recently switched over from platforms like Gong, Chorus, and Avoma. One of the primary factors is the ease of use of Fireflies and how they can use Fireflies for everyone on their, in their company. So it didn't make sense for them to pay 10x more for some of these enterprise type platforms. We have analytics, we have video recording, we have insights, we have conversation intelligence, we have higher quality transcription than many of these platforms. Uh, we have better search capabilities. We have the ease of use in UX to make it simple for you to use. So our goal is to make it one affordable so that not just your five people on your sales team use it, right? But you know, you can have all 50 people in your company use it. Like that's the real advantage of Fireflies. And the value of Fireflies gets better as more people use it. And we have the high level features that at one point in time, were the things that differentiated um, those platforms for us. We've closed that gap. We have CRM integrations. We have uh, the analytics and intelligence. We have the commenting, coaching, sound bites features. So we have done a lot of work to make sure that we have those enterprise level features as well as giving you flexible pricing. So I talked about foreign languages already, Spanish, French, German, Portuguese, Dutch, uh, Italian, as well as English. We're gonna have several more foreign languages that are coming up. You can upload video files as well, MP4 format video files. Can you go through the privacy security aspects? So I've shared this earlier. Uh, if you need our SOC 2 report, uh, or if you need to know more about our pro policies, you can reach out to security at fireflies.ai or check out our website um, on the security tab and that'll go through a lot of those things in detail. Great. Can Fireflies pick up speaker names? Yes, so on all the major video conferencing platforms, when you're using the bot, it will detect the speaker names. If you're just uploading an audio file, the metadata won't be there, So, but it will detect speaker one, speaker two, speaker three. Um, if that, for whatever reason, the accuracy isn't there or the quality of the audio isn't there, it'll usually revert to speaker one, speaker two. So 90% of the time, it'll be able to detect speakers, including their name. And the other 10% of the time, it'll either just pull up like speaker one, speaker two, or if it's really, really bad and it's not able to detect, like the audio quality is really bad or it's just not able to, then it won't do speakers. But most of the time you're gonna get speakers as well as speaker names. And do you have a phone app? How can I have in-person meetings transcribed? So today we don't have a phone app because we have the bot, but there are many, many free phone recorder tools out there. Just simply record it and then drag and drop the file into Fireflies. Some of these uh, phone recorder tools have like a Google Drive or Dropbox integration. And if you turn on our Dropbox integration, so if you record something on the phone there, throw it in a Dropbox folder, that will then get pulled into Fireflies and transcribed. So that's options. Can I download SRT files? Yes, so that's one of the many formats. You have PDF, Word, SRT. So if people are using uh, Fireflies for subtitling their videos or uploading stuff to YouTube, um, you can do that because our transcription quality is more accurate than the default YouTube captions that you could get. Can I customize my notes? Yes, you can customize your notes. You can put in those topic trackers. We are also introducing AI extensions. So I didn't go through that earlier, but I will take a, a minute to quickly go through AI extensions and some of the amazing capabilities that are there uh, with AI extensions. So let's hop in. Let's go into the notebook and let's pick out a meeting maybe. Boom, this is a short meeting, but we are introducing AI extensions. You can learn more about AI extensions on fireflies.ai slash extensions. So here, this is some really powerful stuff that's coming up. And what you can do is you can essentially just ask Fred questions about your meetings and get answers, right? And we will also have some extensions where you can customize the type of notes you want. So we're gonna have that uh, opportunity as well. All of this is coming up. So think of these as tons and tons of different apps that are there. You can have AI write your emails, generate blogs for you. We're using GPT-3 here, um, generate quotes from the meetings. It's just super, super powerful as a whole. Uh, this will be an add-on and you will get credits uh, you can pay for. We're thinking of keeping pricing really, really affordable here so that you can utilize it. Um, but again, the reason we're gonna have to charge differently for this later is that it's extremely compute intensive to do all of this sort of uh, powerful stuff. But let me just give you an example of what was discussed right like here. So for example, I can say like, what did Sam say about GPT-4? Uh, and 
the expectations for it in this meeting. And so it'll be able to go ahead and pull up answers to a question. So Sam said GPT-4 is actually going to be a significant improvement. Uh, it'll revolutionize it, but he said, don't buy too much into the hype. We don't want it to be overblown. Wow. So I didn't even have to go through the entire meeting. I just had Fireflies answer me a question related to that. So this is powerful. This would basically count as one AI credit. You'd get like uh, 50 or 100 credits in every month, and you can just pay for it as like an add-on as you, as you please. So more to come there. But similarly, we'll have other extensions where you can tell Fred, hey, I want my meeting notes for sales calls to be like this. And then please generate notes in that rather than just giving me a general summary. So we're going to have those capabilities as well. Stay tuned. We have the wait list. Go ahead and sign up for the wait list. And this year and beyond, we are excited with AI extensions and all the things we can provide to you guys for it. So that's the little sneak peek primer related to AI extensions, guys. All righty. What other questions do we have here? Can I share a Fireflies recap with guests who don't have an account? Yes, you can share it with someone that doesn't have an account. They'll be able to sign up for a free account and then be able to view the uh, Fireflies recap. Uh, they can also just view it, but then there'll be a pop-up that says, hey, please sign in to continue. Now, if you want people to see your notebook or have access to all of the other capabilities, they have to be invited to your workspace. So you can share an uh, individual meeting recap with someone to look at, but if they want, you want them to have access to your channels, your notebook, all your team's meetings, and their meetings in someone's central place, then you have to add a seat, buy a seat, and they would be added to your workspace. Where can I find more resources and know about the latest updates? So fantastic. You can go to guide.fireflies.ai. That's where we'll have a lot of our updates on the different platforms. We'll have common FAQ questions. Uh, guide.fireflies.ai is fantastic for you to get started. There'll be resources, there'll be videos, there'll be FAQs. And uh, you can also reach out to us on support. And whenever there's new features and stuff, we'll either put it here or on our blog, fireflies.ai slash blog. So just stay tuned for that. And there'll be an email you can also sign up for and get updates when new stuff is pulled up. So for example, we've uh, done some really, really cool stuff uh, in terms of features capability. You can just go into the product related stuff and see all the new product stuff that is there. For example, for multi-language support, we wrote up a blog post, how to use it, how to turn it on. We are gonna keep this up to date and really fresh. Okay, guys, perfect. Awesome, I think we got everything. So thank you for attending. I know this was hopefully very helpful for you to get started. Um, you know, you can get started at app.fireflies.ai. If you need resources, go to guide.fireflies.ai. If you have any questions uh, about like the overall platform, you can feel free to reach out to support at fireflies.ai or use our live chat uh, in the platform itself. And we're excited to have you here. Thank you.